Hey fellow gamers, it's Jay with GXP. Today we are going over hero skills, how to activate them, and how to understand their range. So let's jump right into that. All right, so what we've got today is um, I'm just kind of looking at expanding or, or upgrading some of my heroes. Now, the best day of the week to do this is your Thursday hero development day. But I'm not quite there yet, and I kind of need to get these heroes upgraded. So I kind of wanted to show you how this works. So uh, let me back out a sec and kind of go in from the outside. So under your hero icon, you have all these heroes. Your combat heroes are the ones that you use for fighting. If you click on them, obviously it opens them up. And down here are all the skills, okay? Legendary or orange heroes are where you want to focus. And once you start an ROC and you get into multiple seasons of ROC, there are S1, S2, all the way up to SX, which is at, you know, season 10, um, heroes. Understanding the skill set and what makes that hero specifically good, that's what we're going to talk about real quick. All right, so dual blade, she's a ranged, which means she works well in mid to back row of, of legions. And she is a all-arounder, so she's not troop specific. She's not infantry or archer or cav. She's general. So what her skill set is, is down here. You got to open them up. So obviously the dictator in the very first skill one is how many troops can fit into that legion squad. Skill two is a combat skill and it has an effective range of three, which means that that whatever row that hero is in that row and then the ones in front of them. So her row, row two, row three, that is basically the the legion and if she's got a range of three so you want let me clarify not counting their row so she can go from the back row and hit the front row of the enemy legion so her row next row is one next row is two next row is the legion enemy first row so she can hit it with skill two and the skills are listed. So she has a 50% chance to deal 185% damage to multiple enemy targets. So it's not one row specific. She could actually deal multiple row damage, which is great. So if she was, say, in first row, she could hit all three legions, possibly do damage various all legions. It's never going to be specific. We don't have control on which row she's hitting, but there's a chance, 50% chance that she can deal up to almost 200% damage. Now, the more you upgrade that, the better it gets, all right? So she has a max of 50% at 74 damage plus a 1% increase for every level of hero. So if she's at 50, that's a 50% increase. Damage to two enemy squads within range. Great skill set. That's an awesome. The sword dance is an awesome skill. And skills are activated. They're not every single turn. And I'll show you how that works. Um, next one is obviously skill three, which is um, resistance. Resistance is protecting yourself from damage. Uh, skill four is might. Skill five is another combat skill with a range of three which her target can be two enemy squads. So this takes her max skill two, all right, and adds to it. So she can add an additional uh, one turn prep. What that means is it takes a round, one round for that skill to prep. So it's not gonna happen first round, it's gonna be second round that it comes and, and, and deals out that damage. It's a 50% chance to deal 204% damage with a 3% level up for the hero level. 
So if you're 50, that's now 150% leveled up. All right. And that's on two enemy squats. Okay. Uh, level uh, skill one, two, three, four, five, six. Skill six is a combination. It does two things. It gives additional might, resistance, and bonus to the dictator. All right. The dictator is where all of the the volume of your troops are. So if it gives you 250% volume, it's increasing those. So just think of it as it adds a, a, a few features for resistance damage battle, but most importantly, it increases the volume of that row. So when, when you only have skill one maxed out, you're only having like 36,000 people in that, in that row. When you have skill six maxed out, that goes up to 109,000 in that row. So Awaken is a huge, uh, you have to have duplicates, you have to have it open, and it has to be maxed for you to get the most out of that Legion row. All right, skill seven. Skill seven is another leadership. It adds more resistance for her. Each skill is different for each hero, so understanding how to read them, but this hers at max out is 30% more resistance on top of the already 17% or whatever. She, I think she can get up to a total of 30%. So I believe it's 60% res resistance, if the math works right. Um, and then skill eight. Skill eight is a combat skill. It's It's the hardest one to open but it deals the most damage. It reflects all of the skill damage that her combat skills do, and, and it becomes the maximum damage that she can deal out. All right, so 30% to deal 400% damage to one enemy squad within range and suppress them. Suppression, silencing, um, poisoning, these are all things that, if a hero has those skills and it's activated, it stops the enemy's hero from having skills or stops them from doing something. Uh, Suppression is great because it will shut down a hero during a battle. Um, and it's one turn prep, so it does require prepping. All right. That is the rundown of skills and understanding them. What I wanted to show you is how to activate them. Now, in this one, I have not unlocked the might. So I go to unlock it, and you're going to see there's going to be a certain hero level that that hero has to reach. Now, that hero level is this. It's the XP of that hero. And you have to keep increasing the XP. Currently, my dual blades is at 41 uh, for her level of XP. So when I go into unlocking it, I've surpassed the 20 level that it requires it also needs 400k in gold now if you don't have let's say you're cashing out or exchanging your um your recruit tickets once you get those heroes you're cashing them out on a daily basis you're going to look in here and you're going to see i don't have 10 of these available so what do i do well if you click on one of them all right and confirm it's going to disassemble okay now, what disassembling is, is basically dis deconstruction. You can do that just by going into your heroes, um, going down to your combat heroes. Everyone that is free are heroes you've already received. Now, if you click on them, you go up to the book and you go down to the little person icon, you can split or deconstruct them. All right, when you deconstruct them, they're taken out of your available heroes in being able to use them in your legions or use them in your um, uh, stationing, but it does make them available for using for the upgrades, okay? So I'm just gonna do a couple here, knowing that I need 10. So I'm gonna do... Four. Oh, come on now. Come on now. All 
All right, so that's going through the heroes themselves. Now, if you were to go into, like I said, dual blades, go into that skill, go to unlock that skill, and it's like, hey, you don't have it. Hit choose. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I need three more. So you can click on it here, hit confirm, and it splits it out. See how it kicks you out, though? I kind of don't care for that. That's why I like to do it outside in the hero. Um, so let's get a few more. Sometimes it kicks you out. Sometimes it doesn't. It's so inconsistent. And I already have a pretty good idea of these uh, purple epic heroes that I don't need or that I'm not trying to hold on to. So I'm just going to deconstruct them so I can use them to activate this skill. All right, so that's plenty. So when you go into choose, now you have all these options and you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, so now I've got those done. Now I need to do the same for the epic. Oh, I'm sorry, for the rare. But I have a lot more of those, so I can just click here and get four. Click here and get one. I'm good to go. Now I've activated, I've got all of the requirements to activate this skill. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. All right, so once it's unlocked, then you need wisdom medals, okay? So that is how you activate a skill. Basically, each activation is going to have different requirements. So when you go to unlock them, you just got to hit these requirements. That's level 45. That's 2 million in gold. And I need two generic legendary heroes to be able to open that up. So if you hit the button and you have them available, it will show you. You know, I can use any one of these to become the two generic legendary heroes that I need. So as long as I have reached the 45 level skill set, I'm good to activate her. Okay. Now, I want to quickly show you just from a Marauder battle. So when you go into these battles, all right, and I'll use my maxed out uh, Legion, all right, you can watch the battle, all right? And when you watch the battle, it's going to show you, like right now, I just have two skills that are activated. I had Rampage and Imperium, all right? And it showed you that those skills were being activated. This is the Hell skill. It's being activated, okay? All right? So within two of my legions, I got three skills worked, all right? So now we're looking. So here's the for all. It's another skill. And Hell and Eye of the Storm. Another two skills. Pretty quick and easy. Kind of see how they work in action. And, uh, you know, understanding your skills, maybe seeing how they work, it, it kind of helps understand the importance of those skills and, and what's going on. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, and again, like I said, activating skills, boosting those skills, it's different for every single hero. Like I have an S1 hero, all right? Skill one's pretty much the same for all of them. Skill two is going to vary on what it can do. Skill three is going to be resistance. Skill four is going to be might. Skill five is going to be a combat skill. Various ranges, depending on the hero. All right. Skill six, always awaken, always an increase for the Legion's volume. Okay. Uh, skill seven is basically more might. And skill eight is another range skill or combat skill. So... <laughs> Getting to know those and knowing how they complement the troops that you want, 
the um let's f- the fighting style that you want that that's going to matter and you just got to dig into the, those skills okay uh again guys you know i'm always around hit me up on youtube hit me up in the game uh i appreciate all the time you've spent watching this video thank you very much jay with gxp i'm out